Hello and welcome to Fifth Gear, where I'm in glamorous Nice with the latest version of one of the most flamboyant supercars on sale, the Lamborghini Gallardo. It's called the Performante, and I'll be testing this 188,000 pound, 201 mile an hour machine by filling the mountains with glorious sound. And now it's time to tell you about this latest version of the Lamborghini Gallardo and why well, I'm a little bit worried about it. The problem is that it's getting old. The Gallardo's been around since 2003 and recently supercar rivals like Ferrari and McLaren have released cheaper, faster and more advanced competitors. And that's left me wondering, is the Gallardo over the hill? This £188,000 Performante model, the most expensive Gallardo on sale, is Lamborghini answering with a very loud no. It should be better than ever at doing what the Gallardo's always done best, getting attention and going fast. So on my way to the mountain roads above Nice, I'll conduct a quick test of its ability to turn heads in town. Time for a bit of posing. Despite its age, the Gallardo can still draw a crowd. In the time it took me to get a cup of coffee, it even drew the attention of the police. So before the car lands me with a night in the cells, I think it's best I head for the mountains. These roads would scare even the newest supercars. <laughs> Engines don't come much better than this Lamborghini V10. Nowadays, the new supercars are a trend to go for turbocharged engines, but this is just raw, normally aspirated, glorious power. The revs, 8,500 RPM, accompanied by the most sensational sound from behind you. The Performante has 10 more horsepower than the standard Gallardo, a total of 570. Top speed is 201 miles an hour, and 0 to 62 flies by in just 3.9 seconds. But the acceleration isn't helped by a slightly clunky gearbox. The problem is that Lamborghini's flappy paddle gearbox really does show the Gallardo's age, because whilst everybody else has moved on to the instant change of a twin clutch system, with this Gallardo, we've still just got the one clutch. And that means when you change up on full throttle, there's a horrible bit of hesitancy. Mind you, this flappy paddle gearbox does have an outrageous auto blip when you change down. Here we go. Lamborghini have kept the rest of the car in tip-top shape. Everywhere you look is lightweight carbon fibre, even the seats. The wheels are 13 kilograms lighter than a normal Gallardo's. It's a pensioner in size zero hot pants. Overall, the Performante weighs a full 65 kilograms less than the standard Gallardo Spider. So, Let's see how well the slimmed down model can dance. Brakes, good turn, feed, 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 come out. Oh. Now, of course, Lamborghini doggedly remain faithful to their four wheel drive transmissions. But when it comes to fine handling on a dry road, it is a bit of a handicap. Breaking deep into the corners, the initial turn's actually pretty good. But then once you just begin that throttle there, the four-wheel driver just pushes the front out of line. Come off the throttle and get the nose to tuck back in again. And then once the nose is tucked back in again, I can give it a full multi. Once we're on a racetrack, I definitely still prefer Something like the Ferrari 458 Italia with its rear wheel drive, simply because I can adjust the balance of the car more on the throttle. So, to improve the Gallardo even more, let's get rid of the four wheel 
drive to improve the handling balance and saving the ball weight. The Gallardo still isn't perfect. Neither is this new Performante as delicate or accurate as newer supercars. But it is noisier and more exciting than ever. The Lamborghini Gallardo is growing old disgracefully. And I wouldn't have it any 